Welcome into the Extra Point presented by Global Motorsports in Cool Springs and Bell Mead for the world's best luxury imports at Nashville's best prices. Check them out at globalmotorsportsinc.com. And Zach, the Titans are 8-6 and six after the 1917 win in Kansas City over those Chiefs. But the question is, when will Titans fans actually start believing in head coach Mike Malarkey? Well, I think Sunday helped them. But, but I- not... Led them to believe. No, 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 no. They're okay. definitely not there yet. And I think it's going to take a lot because Mike Malarkey will be the ultimate scapegoat once this Tennessee team, whether it's five years from now or two years from now, starts not playing very well. But he has gotten this team to believe in him. Yeah. I think fans are starting to come around. Maybe Malarkey is better than we thought. Maybe he's better than his resume with the Bills and the Jags where he couldn't win many games. So I I do think that they're coming around, but it's going to be very, very hard for all the Titans to go all in. A playoff berth this year will help tremendously. I think that's what it has to get to. If the Titans make the playoffs, I think Titans fans will put everything aside from their hate from the Malarkey hire and say, okay, sorry, Mike. We got this thing wrong. You're the guy to lead this team. You know, there's always going to be questions about his coaching decisions, whether he should go for two now or wait for later or do the onside kick or not and how they're not using Marcus Mariota compared to how they should use him. All that stuff will happen. And whenever the Titans win, it will be because of Marcus Mariota. Whenever the Titans lose, it will be on Mike Malarkey. That's just kind of how things set up. And that's the responsibility that you take as a head coach. Right. And I think that Mike Malarkey accepts that. But this team loves Mike Malarkey. They do. And when you have a team that's all in, right, playing through the whistle, practicing hard, getting the results, and loving your coach while doing it, I think that's really how you build a championship team, whenever that is. Not saying they're going to win the Super Bowl this year, but it looks like the Titans' playoff window is opening. If they win out, if they beat the Jags and the Texans in the next two weeks, they're in. And if that playoff window opens in 2016, now you're looking on the next couple of years being consistent playoff contenders. Yeah, the future looks bright at Jags, home against the Texans in the season finale on New Year's Day. So uh, two big weeks coming up for all the Titans faithful. That's today's Extra Point presented by Global Motorsports on A to Z Sports Nashville.com.